Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Minecraft video here on the Back to Beta server. And today, we are out the front of our main base project right now. Where we've, I've done a little bit of work in the village, but I'll maybe show you guys that at the end. Um, but today, I wanted to tackle something that's been bothering me for quite a while, and that's kind of the state of the, uh, the front section of our base. It kind of looks like a bit of a mishmash, it's not really like... I don't know, it doesn't look very finished, you know, like, it looks like there's something completely missing here, the sand is a bit, I don't know, it's just flat and bland, um, so I think we're gonna change that today. Um, I wanna move this nether portal a bit further back here, um, so that, you know, you sort of come out and you get a full sense of the scale of the base and then you walk to, you know, walk forwards to everything, um, instead of it just kind of being in the middle of everything. Um, and I also kind of want to make another one of these storage rooms I have here, um, over here. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to necessarily be for storage, because I don't think any one man needs that much storage, but who knows, I think maybe it could just be an aesthetic thing, um, or maybe I'll go crazy and try filling it up as well, but, um, I think that's kind of my plan for today, because I think this, yeah, like I said, this, this area looks a little bit bland out the front here. I want to make, you know, some pathways, actually kind of make it similar to what we have in the village. Sort of the dirt, wood, and sandstone pathways. I want to have those all around here so it kind of connects the two projects we've been working on. Now, unfortunately, that does mean this kangaroo that Monster built for us has to probably go. We might just move it somewhere, I don't know, maybe we'll just put it up on, like, that hill or something there. But, uh, yeah, he's got to go, unfortunately. So, I've made little outlines of, you know, sort of the, the size of this thing, and yeah, basically now it's just a matter of clearing it out and uh, basically copy-pasting the decorations over to this side. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get into that. Okay, so I've just finished up the top kind of layer and the staircases down, and yeah, looking pretty cool. It's basically exactly the same. I kind of want to stand up on that mountain there to kind of see what it looks like with both of them in. And while I was building this, I kind of thought of uh, what could be useful for this. So obviously here we've got a lot of storage, and I wanted to find a way to actually have farms, because right now I don't really have a sugarcane farm or a cactus farm in my area. Um, and then my flower farm's kind of ugly and janky, and things like that, you know, I have, I have, a, I do have a slime farm, but it's not really built yet, um, it's just kind of a manual thing, um, but I think maybe it would be cool to kind of do those farms and have them, like, sort of come to this space, and, uh, yeah, this is where I can, co like, collect all the resources from each farm, and then, yeah, this is my storage system, but yeah, this is looking pretty cool. For some reason it looks way bigger than this one, I don't know why that is, I feel like that's probably just because this isn't sunken in yet, um, but they are the exact same size, so, uh, yeah, but it looks pretty cool, freaking rain bullying me, yeah, that looks cool, I like that they're even now, and it, I think it will look cool because these are both going to look quite different, so, yeah, alright, back to it, now to mine out this little middle area, god damn. Alright, I've just been digging this hole, and Whammy's just showed up, grabbed all my redstone, and started building a piston bolt. I think he's wanting to build one in the nether to, uh, to his, his new base area. It's really sad, because it works perfectly for him, but it does not work at all for me. It's such a scam. What's he saying? I have a stack of iron blocks, so it shouldn't, uh, be too bad. I'll make the tunnels look nice as well, yep. Cool. See how easily that works for him? Give me a... Another go. Watch this. Look at this scam. I didn't even make it like three blocks. What the hell? I didn't even make it like three blocks. Look at this. I hate living in Australia for this sole reason. <laughs> Australia's great in every other way except for the ping. You go. Watch how fast he goes. <laughs> it's such a scam. 
<laughs> uh, anyway, uh, at least I'm really good at digging holes. Uh, I've been digging this massive pit, as you guys have seen, it's the same dimensions as over there. Um, geographical location issue. <laughs> Um, anyways, so like I mentioned, I wanted to make this kind of like a farming kind of pit, and I've pushed like a bit of a, uh, I don't know, like a bit of a gap behind here, um, and this is going to be the sugar cane, so my idea right now is that there's going to be sort of, I guess, glass on this layer, or maybe even one back, I don't know, and then behind it will be the farm, and there'll be like rows of sugar cane, for example, and then there'll be two levers, one for like a manual switch, and then one to make it automatic. Um, so, you know, it's kind of constantly pumping out. And, uh, yeah, I want to be able to have all of the resources kind of collect into one spot. And I'm, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. I think it would be cool to have them kind of collect in the corner and somehow push diagonally to the center, but that might be a pain. I don't know. Maybe just have them sort of come out the sides here and sort of pull in a, in a big square in the middle. I don't know. Um, so I think I'm going to try and build this sugarcane farm today. Uh, and yeah, the rest are going to have to wait. We've got a cactus farm, um, a wheat farm, and then a mushroom farm. Now, these are subject to change if you guys have any, any different ideas. But uh, I mean, those are the only really things I think you can kind of automatically farm. So yeah. Okay, so I'm partway through actually building my sugarcane farm, and I know it's way over-engineered, but it's fine, because I'm having fun, and that's all that matters. Um, and I've just, as you can see, put in a bunch of the resources, kind of finishing touches, and I realized I've made a mistake. And the mistake is not in this water stream, but this one up here. I wanted them to have kind of a two-layered thing. I guess I didn't really describe this. I wanted them to have like a two-layered kind of thing going on. Didn't really turn out the way I kind of thought it would. It still kind of works. Um, but yeah, it didn't end up turning up the way I kind of hoped it would, but it's fine. It's good enough. Um, like, the reason it didn't was just mainly because of the way this was powering here and the fact that I needed to fit this water water block in here, but it's alright, that's why it's kind of a little over-engineered, but it's fine. Um, but the issue is the fact that this water stream is obviously way too long to have like one water source push it all the way to the end here, um, and I can't drop it one down because I have these repeaters here. Now I could probably maybe find another way to do the redstone, I have this uncovered maybe, something like that, I don't know. Or I could do something crazy like get a piece of ice so that the water s pushes it and it slides across and keeps going. Now that's kind of crazy, I don't know if I want to do that, but I definitely do kind of want to do that. <laughs> I'm feeling a little crazy, it's, it's, it's the evening and I'm feeling crazy. Now the closest ice thing is like 200 blocks that way, um, that's where like Dialco's, oh no, Hello World, sorry, Hello World's place is like out there. So, I think I'm just gonna like push it up and then push it across and then down and and get some ice. Well, I don't know, let's do it. I don't know, let's, let's do it. I'm gonna, let's do it. I don't know, let's do it. I feel crazy, let's do it. I don't know, let's do it. Seemingly right here, right? So right on this block here. And that'll slip through right there. We can dig a hole there. What level is this? Okay, we're at 60, okay, we're at 82-0, that's actually so easy to remember, 82-0, okay, we're also going to get rid of any torches that might melt the ice, because that would be a disaster. Okay, so 68, uh, sorry, 82 and 0, so we've got to push it up 82 and have it be on the 0 chord, let's do that. This is nice, getting around, getting, a, being able to kind of walk around the, uh, the spawn area a bit. I feel like we don't often do this, especially on camera. Here's the, uh, the railway. Still needs a lot of work done on it. <laughs> a bit of a neglected, uh, project. What is this? Bob Freebus Station? That's, uh, I think that's a, uh, a monster thing. Alright, I spotted. We're gonna try and take... I think we'll try and take, because I think minimum we need... Four ice, but I'll. I think maybe I'll push. Maybe I'll push five, so we have like one for insurance. Or is this four right here? Okay, there's four right here. This is kind of perfect. So, 
Okay, first thing we need to do is push this up into the sky, so let's do that. Sixty-six. Wait, sixty. Okay, I want sixty-five. That's sixty-six, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two. Okay, so that should be eighty-two. Let me check that. Eighty-one, eighty-two. Perfect, and that. Is that lining up perfectly? It's so hard to tell from here. Okay, now that's correct. Now, now's the time to mention, I don't know what happens when ice blocks are in like a... a biome that isn't their biome. I hope they don't just melt. I'm pretty sure it's just light level dependent. said you're doing something dumb. Yeah. Is it at your base? Uh, it's getting there. It's, I'm slowly getting to my base. It's, there's a hint. There's a hint. Are you making a path? Mm, no. Not in the... So not in the... I mean, I'm making a temporary path. Why did I say it like that? God, you're so... You're American just rubbed off on my fucking accent. Anyway, making a temporary, <laughs> temporary path. Well, I'm not. Are you like in the direction of Ryan's mansion? Kind of? I am. Yeah. Okay, I did see you. With my fucking X-ray. X-ray hacks. I know you're here somewhere. It's just a matter of where. <laughs> Up to something. Me? No. I keep reloading my chunks until I can see you through them. <laughs> if it helps, I'm getting closer to the mansion. What? Oh. Ah, I just saw you. <laughs> what? The oh my god. <laughs> oh my Wait, god. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> I made quite what the trail. I made quite the trail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It goes on forever! <laughs> These are, believe it or not, the closest ice blocks I could have possibly got to. <laughs> and for what purpose? Uh, you... Do you want to come and I'll show you? Yeah. I'll, I'll, show, you. I'll show you why. <laughs> I mean, for what it's worth, you're like probably halfway there. So, yeah. there's always that. I've only been doing it for like a little bit. Whoa, hold on. There, how oh, yeah. the fuck did I walk past this? I don't know. I don't know. I was surprised you didn't make. I was surprised you didn't make a comment on it. <laughs> There's a second box base. What the fuck? Yeah, this took a fat minute to dig out. Anyway, this is gonna be like a whole bunch of farms. I felt crazy. Why are Why are the crafting tables in the sky? Yeah, Ryan did that, and I couldn't be asked putting <laughs> taking them down. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it was That's Ryan. <laughs> That's a really nice screenshot, I think. Like just taking, just hit F one and just fucking zoom <laughs> with the in. with those. <laughs> it is unique. It's like it's like you know it's like Ryan's calling card is leaving shit in the sky. I reckon <laughs> it's his calling card. <laughs> he does that it's so like often. It's like signal. Yeah. But yeah. Honestly, this has been like way less painful than expected. Yeah. What the freak? What the? <laughs> oh, you just pushed it. I was like, what the hell? Because I was like flicking this. <laughs> I was so confused. What the hell? That was a really confusing experience. 
What is what? Schizophrenia. I thought I saw like a light blue block down here, but I'm fucking losing my mind. Was it water? Was it lava? <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. Pause. You can't eat. What? What was that? What? The. <laughs> I don't know what you're what. The slurp. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you cast like me. I heard it. <laughs> Fucking I'm not prove, crazy. prove it. Prove it. <laughs> I don't know. I almost fell off and I just, I don't know, made a sound, but then I didn't fall, so it was fine. I cut it off quickly. Alright. Well, that just means I'm just gonna come and steal your food, so. Standard. <laughs> Standard dock spot procedure. Changing it okay, up. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a bit of a pain. Slightly. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Holy sheep. Ah! All right. Um, Push that down. That's cool. Look at that. Look at that. We got four pieces of ice all the way in the desert. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk this would ever happen? Boom. Boom. All right. Almost there. Let me just place these last two water bits. And we're done. Oh, wait. I also need to put the sugar cane in. All right. Do it. Oh my god, that was so satisfying. Oh my, it got, st some of it got stuck on the, <laughs> some of it got stuck, but that's okay. Oh, but the, but it worked perfectly over the ice, let's go. Why don't you just get rid of the stairs then? Well, I just wanted, I just wanted to be able to look in a bit better. And I don't need that much sugar cane, come on, <laughs> it's, it's, it's sugar cane. <laughs> what are you going to use it for? Wait, okay, some got stuck here. Okay, that's because it got pushed straight out onto the ice. But you know what? Whatever. It's not perfect, doesn't have to be. Thanks. Okay, so the sugarcane farm is basically done. I mean, as you guys saw, it's not perfect. But we did get the ice in place, and oh my god, what a, what a, ma what a mammoth, mammoth project full of lots of resources. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with this corner. It's a bit obviously bland. You can kind of see the, uh, the bud switch there that, uh, may trigger any moment, um, and have this all go. And then we also still need to figure out exactly how this filter system is going to, uh, I guess make its way back to me. Uh, this is my current entrance here now. Uh, probably going to have to light this up in some kind of way. But yeah, I mean, we can simulate this happening. All of the uh, the pistons are primed. There we go. And all the uh, sugar cane comes down. Obviously, there's some losses, but who really cares? <laughs> how much how much sugar cane do you really need in this game? That's interesting. I feel like there was more losses. What are, th are these fake? Why can't I get them? I don't know. Anyway. You get plenty of sugar cane, far uh, sugar cane from the farm, I don't really... Like, how often do you need sugar cane? It's probably not going to be on this bud switch most of the time, because, like, lag probably. But, uh, yeah, we need to figure out how to get these water streams into one spot, and then have them sort of travel to the middle. I might make it dip down even more to get to the middle, but, uh, that'll be another... That'll be a project for another day. It's currently almost midnight. So I think I'm good. I think I'm good on this project for now. Also, Captain Cat's Railway is right here. I need to find a way to uh, connect that back up to his uh, to his railway. But again, that's a future box player problem. Okay, so I've spent a little more time working on the farm now to make it a bit more efficient, uh, have a little less losses, um, and I've done that mainly just by kind of cleaning up the edges, making sure all of the sugar cane makes it into the water first, and making it so that the pistons, when they extend, they extend for a little bit longer, and I've sort of done that so when the uh, bud switch fires... Whoa, there's a creeper there. What up? Oh my god. Um, I've made it so basically when the bud switch fires, um, they it first goes through some pulse extenders here, which kind of keep the pistons out 
um, for a bit longer than they did before, and that makes sure that uh, a lot of the uh, a lot more of the sugarcane makes it into the water. So if we uh, we simulate it now, there you go. It's much uh, much much longer sort of opening. We still obviously have losses, but we actually have way less. Uh, I've also, as you can see, added some water streams that actually feed into a sort of central area. Um, now, I don't know if there's really actually a better way to do this. I don't know if there's a way to actually make items kind of go up blocks. You can always have them go down, but making them go up is kind of hard. I guess you could kind of push them into a wall, and then they would kind of travel up through the blocks sort of to the surface. But I don't know if that's very reliable, especially on a server in beta. Um, so for now, we've just kind of got them going through a water stream, which I can go look at real quick. So pretty much all of the uh, the sugar cane falls into the water, pushes down, and then goes into this water stream here, which is just kind of pushes them all into here. And I'm thinking of making like this sunk into the ground. It'll probably be sunk a bit further out on all sides, maybe, um, and then sort of maybe you're at the bottom and you can just kind of walk down and have all the collection come to you. Now the farm produces just under two stacks of sugar cane which is more than enough. I mean, during the production of this farm, I've already gotten, like, more than enough sugar cane that I'll probably ever need, <laughs> at least in a reasonable time. I mean, that's plenty enough. So, yeah, I mean, it works pretty fine. Um, we just got to finish up a little bit of the aesthetics, and I want to hook up sort of a, uh, I guess, on-off, or, like, automatic switch. So, you know, have a flick a lever, and, you know, it's powered by the bud switch, so it's kind of automatically, continually creating sugarcane, um, but then also just have it on a manual, uh, manual switch as well, so that I can, uh, like, it, let it grow, and I don't have to keep having, constantly have sugarcane here lagging up my area, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the farm, and, yeah, obviously it's got a bit of work to do, this whole area's got a bit of work to do, but I think that's probably all I'm gonna have time for today, um, we didn't end up getting to everything I wanted to do today, but that's okay, um, I'll spend some time on it, you know, during the week next week, and we'll be able to kind of get it done, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found this interesting, and, uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!